James, you're the number one again, huh? Well, you go ahead and roll that window up for me. So, now that we put the sunshade back in, it's actually going to make it easier. Watch this. Go ahead, James. Try it. Remember, patient on the wheel. We've got to find the cue to turn in. Turn your head. Look back this way. You're going to go around the two. and stay out wide. Turn your head and look to the right, but don't turn the wheel till you get there. Now look out the back window, look for that orange number one. Turn your heart to the right. Good, try not to get lost. Look for the orange number one. Now straighten the wheel, look left. Wait for it. Good, rotate it back in. Look for the green number four is your next corner, but get close to the yellow cone. Look right. Where's the information coming from in the car? That's what you're looking for. What's coming up next? Good. Now, you're looking for a purple number five. It's going to disappear on you. Where's the information coming from? Left side of the car. Good. So rotate the car. Looking for orange. It's going to disappear. Where's the information? Out the right side now. Station on the wheel. Nice job. Good. Turn the car right. Now we're looking left. Beautiful. Go ahead and roll that shade up for me. Well, there you go, folks. There's a proven fact that it just gets easier when you put the shade in. Dave, <laughs> give it a whirl. Remember, patient on the wheel for me. But during our runs, we'll roll down individually. Uh, we'll call it a specific mile per hour for you guys, so make sure you uh, stick to that speed. Around 35 miles an hour or so through most of the runs. So we'll maintain that speed all the way down. And then we've got these two tall orange cones that we're approaching. As the nose of your car passes through these two tall cones, we're going to start to apply the brake pressure, okay? Again, it is wet, so make sure you keep those windows up. We're traveling down the center lane right now. We have a lane to the left and a lane to the right as well. Those will come into play a little later on. We're also going to want to make sure we come to a complete stop each time we come through the exercise. This time, though, we're just going to roll right on through. Myself or BC will clear you from the exercise. We'll make a U-turn to the right-hand side. And we'll taxi back up to the staging area. Right here, James. 35 miles an hour. Nice, smooth brake pressure. There you go. Nice job there, James. You can go ahead and clear. He's okay on this exercise. Uh, everyone else in the main. So we'll stick with 35 miles an hour this time there, James. If you're all set, go ahead and make your way on down and get your eyes up. Look down for BC. So good job there, James. Shows the right lane. Good job on your braking pressure. Very nice job on that first run there. That was good.
Turn four pretty solid. I was just fine tuning how much curb we were using. Five, really strong corner for all four of you, honestly. Um, getting a good drive up off the corner, carrying pretty good speed through the middle and into the corner. So very nice job there, guys. Turn six, tricky area. Um, the S's were flowing pretty well for all of you guys. Just thinking about, you know, can't be thinking about the corner you're in. Got to be thinking a corner or two ahead through this area because it is so tight and technical. Um, a lot of change of direction happening very quickly through this portion. So just try to get the eyes up maybe a little bit further through there. That'll help you guys place a little more consistently through that portion of the racetrack. We're going to exit this time, guys.